What's happening YouTube, your boy Tech Tricks back in our video and today we're looking at the basis 6-in-1 hub and we're going to compare to the 8-in-1 version of it as well. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of next videos to come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca, hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. If you want to get one of these as well, make sure to check out the description below. Everything will be linked down there. So here we go. I'm going to open this up, the 6-in-1 hub, pretty much... Um, Pretty simple device if you have an iPad Pro, MacBook Air, and any MacBooks really, you can use it with this. Let's see what's inside here. Pretty much has the literatures right here. It's a little sticker as well from Basis. Pretty cute. There you go. Let's put that on the side for now. So as you could see, this hub has the braided cable right here which is really nice USB-C as well on the end there great for Android device as well let's open up the 8 in 1 now there we go the packaging is a little bit different here again I'm just gonna pop this out of here like so take out a little bit of plastic it comes with the instruction manuals there as well and it's a bit bigger as you can see the 8-in-1 also has a USB-C but no braided cable here so these are the two hubs right here the basis 6-in-1 is a little bit smaller than the 8-in-1 as you can see there both of them has the indicator lights on top the basis 6-in-1 has a braided cable right here Compared to the 8-in-1, and it's just a normal cable right there. Both are USB-Cs. Both of them has a little spot up here to put away the cable to get the dirt and dust out of it. So the PD Type-C right here to charge your device is good up to 100 watts. It also has an SD card and a micro SD. The card right there same with this guy right here and the HDMI slots are good for 4k 30 frames per second on the other side as you could see the 6-in-1 has two USB A's and USB USB 3's and then the 8-in-1 has the three USB 3's now there's also a difference right here uh, the 8-in-1 has the Ethernet slot and the 6-in-1 doesn't have that. Special feature as well on the 6-in-1 is the one button stop casting. So when you press this button, it will stop everything that is connected to it. Imagine if you're streaming, something happens and you want everything to stop. You can pretty much press this one button to disconnect everything. So here is the USB-C hub now connected to our MacBook Air M1. It has the SD card right here. It also has the micro SD card right in there. It's also being charged via 100 watt slot right there. As you can see, it's charging the MacBook right there. It has the two SD cards right there. HDMI cable right here as well, connected to a portable monitor. You can use this for any monitor up to 4K 30 frames per second. It's also being charged here. The monitor is being charged via USB 3 right there on the same hub. And also it's charging our Osmo Pocket, which is uh, pretty much dead right now. As you can see, it's being charged because of the green light flashing over there. As you can see there, pretty nice. Now the eight in one will be able to do more. Of course, it has the normal SD and the micro SD card on the bottom. It also has the HDMI right there for the portable monitor. It's also being charged here, powered via that same USB C USB C hub. It's charging our Osmo Pocket as well right here. But at the same time, we can charge our phone as well. 
using that same hub and then at the same time as well is connect our ethernet cable via uh, usb-c now if you are looking to use this on your nintendo switch you'll be able to do that like so so you're just gonna put the eight in one right here usb-c you charging right there and then the hdmi cable goes to the portable monitor or any monitor that you want and you'll be able to play the game there you go now as you could see if you want to do exact same thing on the six in one you'll be able to do with that as well with the nintendo switch usb-c straight to there hdmi to your monitor and then this is how it's being charged right here pretty cool now let's try out how well the hdmi works here as you could see no input lag whatsoever really good and pretty snappy And that's it for today everyone, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new USB-C hub for your iPads, Android, and also MacBooks. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.